what? One quality that we value the most value. out of men. I think for me, particularly, is like protection. Like when the man is like, make, make me feel like I'm okay regardless of the place I am or regardless of the situation. Okay, so most women prefer men to be consistent. Because, for example, they start off strong, start off in love, True. doing things, and they say, you know what? I'm comfortable, I'm tired, I don't do it anymore. But if, you, if you're consistent with a girl, she appreciates that a lot more. So that's what I say. Yeah. yeah, but men got to be consi consistent most of the time anyway because they're rational. They are consistent where are we women? No, no, but like, okay, that's, a, that's that, true. That's the whole point, though. Your value yourself, you don't, you're not consistent yourself. So if your man isn't either, what does that make him? Like a woman. Exactly. No, my man. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's the whole point. Men have to be consistent <laughs> to, be to be attractive. Have to be. Uh, okay. And well, then you, you, and then we'll give it to her. Sure. Okay. Yeah. So what's the best uh, advice you can give us? I mean. Can, can you speak up? Yeah. She said the best advice to give the a girl? The best advice to give the us. The to best advice to give to the girls. All the girls, yeah. Be useful to your guy. Yeah. That's how you keep him. Yeah. I think a lot of girls think just be attractive and give him sex and maybe make a yeah. sandwich every Monday. No, that's not enough. To really keep a guy, especially a guy that's attractive, that has the option of getting other women, you have to understand that you're competing with other girls and you got to make it where even if he goes and fucks another bitch, make him say, damn, I miss my girlfriend. And if you, can, if you have that level, you win. And I know a lot of you guys are like, what the fuck? You, you're telling me he, like, he's going to go fuck another bitch? Yeah. Can make I ask him you a question? Make him appreciate you. When he ha when, this is how you know you won. If he's having sex with other girls and saying, damn, I miss my girl, yeah. you did a good job. Does it matter the way he does it? What do you mean? Like, My. like for example, okay, if you're telling me, okay, and, and with other women or whatever, does it matter? Should women have in consideration when it comes to a high, a high value man that that man is exposed, is being exposed with other women publicly, pub, public? I think you public. can have a discussion publicly, about that. You, yeah. you and, and your man like, can have a discussion about that. You make him lose certain way, or is it, or is it okay just because you you gain a status yeah. I, in life? I think I think you should have a discussion with him about that, right? Because I think if you talk to the guy and he's having sex with other girls, whatever, and you say, hey, listen. And please just don't embarrass me. Don't fuck my best friend or some shit like that. Yeah. I think most guys would. It's like I already explained understand. the rules yeah. I have with yeah. my girl, right? Yeah. I, I think, never posted I other girls on That's social media. Yeah. I never so, took them so, on vacation. They never but slept so in my many bed. women yeah. are emotional and they won't even was, like. It, you can't even get there with 99 percent of women. I yeah. think if a girl does do that, that's going to set you apart. Nothing too. You want to set yourself apart from other women. You said getting advice for women. If you say, "Look, I don't give a fuck if you fuck other girls. Just come home to me." You're going to diversify yourself from 99 percent of women. Yep. Just off of that alone. And he won't leave. Yeah, you guys have to leave. understand that the qualities that make us men attractive are very fucking different from what makes you attractive. Watch their content, watch their podcasts, other podcasts like that. Listen to Andrew Tate. And really You'll sit there man. and think, get out a piece of paper and literally make notes. Okay, what can I offer besides my wet pussy to this man? Be agreeable, support him, have interesting conversation, be, support him in his business. Anything you can, like, literally sit there like, what could I do? And here's the thing. No, no, no. Him I'm looking at all their faces face. you're talking. Yeah. You guys aren't ready to date a yeah, fucking winner. The girls that are giving me faces, looking at me crazy, whatever. You, you don't you even know why I'm doing this. Faces. No, 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 I'm no, no, thankful no, 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 no. I'm not I, ready. I because you are not ready. You are not ready to date a winner. If you're looking at me crazy or you're, don't, you're not like, okay, this makes sense. Yeah. You're not ready. Date a more average guy that's going to be more loyal to you. That's okay. Nothing wrong with average guy. And he's still going to cheat. Yeah. But Except, women want guys yeah. that are the best. Guys, Except that I've you probably cheated. have no idea what men really want. Study it first the same way. If I didn't know how to code PHP, I would go to YouTube and write how to code PHP. I would research this from good sources, literally find out what men actually want. And then like a homework assignment, I would like logically think about this. Okay. I would write down things that I can do. To stand women don't give a fuck, women. though, yeah, man. They don't, they don't care, bro. No, they're not. They don't give a fuck. I, I tried. I tried. Yeah, all, yeah. all we could. You can hey, only lead, you can only lead a horse listen. to water. She asked. Maybe she'll listen. The rest of them are like. You can fuck only lead shit. a horse to water. You can't make a drink. Okay. Uh, and then for her, you had a question because she wanted. Uh, oh yeah, you give her. Uh, yeah, yeah. She yeah. Has, yeah. Yes. yeah. She has something. Yeah. Last one. Why are you so scared of me? No, <laughs> I'm not. I'm giving it to you because. That's not my question. So you don't say that we ignored you. I'm just kidding. My question is, what is the most important human value that you bring to the table in a relationship? For me. Yeah. yeah. You cannot repeat each other's answer. Okay. Who do you want to go first then? <laughs> the white guy. First. Me. White, 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 white. The, the white guy. The white guy. Oh, is she a little bit what too was, excited? What was the, the most important uh, human trait that you bring to a relationship? That's what she asked. Um, Here, pass her that mic right there. I would say protection. Cool. Wait, Next. Protection? What if he shows up? <laughs> what if he shows up, nigga? What the fuck? Hey. Yo, what if he shows up, bro? Let's, let's, 
That's so corny. <laughs> All right, listen, man. We, we got weapons and shit, too. There's a lot more than muscles. <laughs> All right, well, well, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll see what happens. Okay, well, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll put holes in you then. We'll see what happens. Fuck. <laughs> Oh, come on, man. We're on YouTube. Oh, man. Right. Okay. What, what about you? Um, <laughs> shit. I would say uh, good thing, man. <laughs> BBC. We good said about, like, <laughs> human I know, value. I kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, so I would just say, <laughs> I would say value-wise, I do bring um, being consistent. And I think for the most part, I've realized that, like, if I really care about a girl, I want to make sure that she's happy. But at the same time, like, I'm happy first. But by me being happy, I'm going to be consistent because that means what does she like? What does she want? Once my needs are met, her needs will be met as well. You just had to say a word. Huh? You just had to say a word. Word? A word. You just had to say a word. One word. One value. Consistency? Oh. Yeah, that's it. There you go. Now you. <laughs> Leadership with, with, and guidance. Now I want to make a comment. As you guys can tell, every dynamic with every human is completely different. You can make your own world with your own rules, and you can be happy as long as you're honest with yourself. So this conversation is not very valuable in any way, but it was very entertaining to be part of it. So thank you for having me. And you should come to my podcast. Look, look, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's That was go. very disrespectful. Um, to go uh, to say, oh yeah, this conversation, blah blah. I think a lot of the women take took away some tidbits here that they could use in in the future, um, because men rarely, if ever, are honest and speak openly about um, the male experience, especially when it comes to dealing with the opposite gender. So I mean, I get you're it. Late. You're late. Andrew Tate did it first. I'm sorry. You're late. I'm late. How? To the conversation. How so? A lot of people talk about it. You said you Andrew Tate talked about to, it first. You just have to just ask. You, you said Andrew Tate talked about it first. Yeah, or not even that. It's been happening for years. You guys are t letting everyone know your needs, correct? <laughs> That's how you find someone. Whose man is this? Yo. Yeah, are you aware that Andrew Tate is a good friend of ours, and we've been talking with this about him for years? Yeah, I've seen your videos together. Okay. So what do you mean he talked about it? For, I don't get your angle. It, no one talked about spirituality before you? Oh, You're late. Oh, You're late to the conversation. Everyone, though. I never said that. You're but you, you just that said that me. we're late because someone else talked about red pill issues before us. You're saying that you're being useful through talking about those topics. But what if we talked about harmonizing this dynamic instead of shitting at each other and slamming each other and just finding the great area that works for Who's people and humans and working for a collective consciousness instead of just being at a war with our generous... How do you okay, generous? see, so let me be very honest about this. I get it, you know, the, the woo-woo, hunky-dory, kumbaya stuff, but problems <laughs> don't get solved when you talk in circles like you do and not necessarily addressing problems and issues face-to-face. -face. That we do on our podcast. We talk about issues, we say what it is, we confront it. You, you kind of dance around it. Oh, no, it's okay. You, it's, you, you make your own reality. You make your own world. Listen, yeah. we, you live on, we live on planet Creator Earth. Creator of your reality. And there's this things, is what you are. See, You're this, powerful. And don't, don't let anyone else this tell is ridiculous. you otherwise. This is what I'm trying to say when I say women live in a fantasy land a lot of times because of garbage like that. This is the difference. Men must live in a fact-based reality. If I'm a loser, I'm going to suffer for being a loser. Women won't fuck me. My friends won't respect me. I must go out there and produce and be a somebody. Would right? you girls date Women, him? hold on, hold on, hold on. Women, on the other hand, lie to each other, give each other comforting lies, say a bunch of bullshit like that. Like, you're, fa you're special. It's okay. It's your world. You're just living in it. Here's the thing. We literally just told them, this is what men look for. You want a man. You might want to understand what men want to get the man. However... It seems to me, especially from these women, they want a masculine, dominant man. Not the guy that you got who's a fucking cuck. The so, building point of the said, conversation so, is... No, hold, on, hold on, stop, stop, stop. Because you're saying that this conversation is important. I think it is because a lot of women don't get to hear this perspective. They hear a bunch of hunky-dory, woo-woo stuff that you're talking about, and they don't end up with the man that they want because well, they think men and women are equal. You are and I'm trying to explain. Hold on, stop, 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 so stop, stop, not stop, until you stop, work on stop, that Frank, is that I'm you're talking, actually going to be talking, honest talking, and Frank, you're going to make a point. I'm talking, I'm talking, okay? You're a guest on our platform, Okay. So, right. and I'm addressing your point because you're trying yes. to say it's not important or whatever. I think if women listen to what we say, because we've saved a lot of relationships, we've saved a lot of men for killing I themselves. I think it's important Yo, shut because up. you're able to. Shut the to... fuck up. When I'm talking, shut up. You understand? Shut the fuck up. This is not your podcast. Why it's do not you your get platform. so triggered? And if you don't like We're it, you can leave. Talking. No, no, no. I'm not yelling at you. Because you're talking when I'm talking. I'm addressing your point and I'm giving you a response and then you're just talking. All right. Because you're not listening to understand. You're just hearing me to talk. 
That's the difference. You're saying a bunch of bullshit that don't make fucking sense. You're just repeating yourself. And the women here, like I said before, might not necessarily want a soft and timid boyfriend like you got that lets you run around him and have open relationships. <laughs> a lot of the women here want a dominant masculine man that could tell you to shut the fuck up because clearly your guy doesn't do it. You talk too much. All right? So That's you guys want to be talked like this? No, no, no. It's not in about the that. Future? I have to assert my dominance on a fucking masculine woman like you right now. Huh. That's what I have to do. And you can get up and leave at this point. Because you haven't been contributing to the conversation. You try to demean the conversation. It's been three hours, so No, no yes. you can get up and leave. I'm yes, yeah. thank you. Get up and leave. I've been trying get up and to. Leave. Get up and leave. You know it's you have been been a been pleasure. To. You guys are amazing. And just don't forget. Turner, don't just, let just anyone just tell you otherwise. Just get up okay? and get the fuck out of here. Bye, Felicia. Just get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Bye, Felicia. Coming here with an agenda. First saying a bunch Frank, of fucking Columbia, coming. bro. Fucking ridiculous. Legendary. the fuck out of here. Thank you, guys. Bye. Thank you for the great content. Nobody cares. Doors right there. Just leave. Just leave. Just leave. Just leave. Just leave. Leave. Just leave. Just leave. Just leave. The fuck out of here. Yo, even in Columbia, Frank yeah, Castle, yo, bro. You don't want to leave. Just oh like, my yo, goodness, world, bro. What? Yeah, just yeah. leave. You can breathe. No, just get out of here. You, I need you. You need to back up. Need you need to back away from me. Where's the crystals, lady? You need to back away from me. You need to back away from me. No, no, no. You're no. You just need it. You don't touch me. Just leave. <laughs> you're a weirdo. You're a weirdo. Just leave. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah, he's dropping your shit on the floor. Get the fuck out Bye. of here. I called all of you guys. None of you, can nice. say, none of you can say that you weren't warned. She was warned. You were all warned. I called every one of you individually and said, do not cut Myron off. Do not over talk him. Let him speak one voice at she a time. Came with an agenda, if you were rude fine. to him, I said he will be rude she back. She came here with an agenda. That's I, why I, I knew she was going to do that. That's why you. I let her go last. But you know what's crazy? Yeah. If we went on her podcast, we would never over talk her. Ever. Out of respect. But well, once again, no respect. Yeah. Wow. She did not, for such a spiritual, oh, da, da, she had yeah. the clo most closed that's mind. Why, that's why no one watches her shit. Anyway. She's getting <laughs> on my podcast. No, what the fuck? Uh, okay. All right. So, any, any last thoughts for the I'm going to shameless plug. Last thoughts? Last thoughts, KC, for yeah. you? Yeah. Uh, well, I'm I'm gonna, I want to make sure the girls get there. Well, actually, you know, what were your thoughts on that fucking girl, man? She fucked crazy. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. I want to throw shade. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, I don't know if I want to talk. <laughs> no, you don't got to say anything, but I, I'll just open it up if somebody has, does want to say anything on that situation. No, I just, well, I just think it was kind of weird. Like, she was a little bit weird. Like, oh, oh kooky and happy and shit. Like, I respect I that, but, but like, yes, you were right that she was beating around the bush and didn't answer anything. So it was like, okay. Nice. Yeah, she said a lot without saying I mean, anything. A bunch of nonsense. You know where you're coming for it's not like it's a surprise what we're going to talk about so just be chill like for example i disagree with a lot of things that you said but it's okay like i'm not going to have a reaction i'm not going to over speak or anything could you imagine if it came into your host right and i disrespected you yeah. just because i felt like it like oh i'm better than you i can do whatever yeah, conversation I think that was wasn't a little whatever bit aggressive yeah. and at the same time like okay it's a conversation you talk i talk I let, I let you talk. I don't uh, interrupt you because respectfully, you have a yeah. point. This, this may be giving her too much credit, but she may have done it on purpose to intentionally get kicked out to try to go viral and promote her podcast and get a lot of views or whatever. It's not. Either way, she looks really so, dumb. We've seen a, a lot of yeah. girls have done that and yeah. no one goes and watches their they shit, bro. Dumb, bro. I don't think... I don't think your audience has a lot of yeah. Our audience isn't audience. gonna go watch her yeah, like yeah, her yeah. woo woo spirit. Like hey, yeah, you're, yeah, the yeah. world, you're just living in the world and you're yeah, special. Yeah. Like energy. That advice doesn't work for men. Like men have to live in the real world. PC. Like we can't sit there and just be like, oh yeah. What I'm sign special. are you? I am a crystal Pisces. Oh my goodness. Oh you're my an asshole. God. Really? Fucking yeah. Who cares? Yeah. Uh, but uh, <laughs> that's the point, though. It'll, it'll yeah. matter, man. That was rude. Yeah. yeah. I'm joking. Come on, relax. Thank you. You get it. Um, all right, uh, I'll give the ladies a last thoughts here. Uh, you guys have anything last thoughts on the show? How's the show for you? Oh, good. Good. Y'all tired of us? Okay, cool. Okay. Perfect. Casey, anybody? No, no, nobody has. Yeah, go ahead. But it's not based on what you guys say. Well, it is, and um, and is that we women we start we need to start being more real with ourselves and with our friends because what he says is true we lie so much it's like oh my god he has to accept you just like the way you are oh my god no girl you don't do that and i think it's absolutely bullshit like me personally i have a group of with my friends and we keep 100 percent real like if it's no no if you if i think i can do you can do better if i, I think you can lose weight if i think you can read a book so you can be more expert in something i think we don't do that as women because we, we think like everybody else have to accept 
our imperfection and our flaws, we don't, when don't, we don't, we, when we don't even do it with our friends. Sometimes we even talk on the back of that girl and say, "Oh my God, she just say that," and like, "Why she say that?" And we don't, we don't, we don't. Um, Question. Yes. Or correct. In the, or correct. Yeah, in their face, just because it's our friend, we don't want to hurt. We are so sensitive with each other, and that is what is fucking us up. Because if we start to be saying more truth, and this is how it is, and this is the reality, I think we will be better persons, better humans, and better women. And here's the thing. The reason why I went so hard at her is because a lot of you guys ask good questions about how do I find this guy? How do I find a masculine guy? I want a guy that's dominant assertive. And she told you guys a bunch of stuff. She tried to say like, oh no, that stuff isn't, no, no, don't fuck what they said. You're special. You're going to find that guy anyway. But look at who she's with. She's with a guy that allowed her to be in an open relationship. From what I see, because when you guys, when I said that, you guys all kind of were like, what the fuck? I don't want a guy like that. Uh, so yeah. What she's, give, she's not giving you guys advice conducive to finding that man that you want that's going to be a provider, that's going to protect you, that's going to provide for you. We're telling you that what kind of guy that is and what he wants in return. And that guy will never let his chick fuck other girl, dudes. You know what was really rude too? Like the way that she asked you guys a question and you answered like just one word and then she said like, you just had to say one word. And it was like, girl, you've been beating around <laughs> the bush <laughs> all night. Like, yeah. let him talk if he wants to talk and get to his answer. Like, w. Barranquilla. W. Barranquilla. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She could talk for 10 minutes and say absolutely nothing. Yeah. yeah. Yes. But, but that's my thing. That's why I had to, because from what you guys want in a man, she was giving you advice that's 100% conflictory to that. And I think that's a perfect example, quintessential example when I say women lie to each other all the time to make each other feel bad. Like, we gave you guys some harsh truths. And then she comes in and says, oh, no, 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 you're special. You're fine the way that you are. No, that's not the way the world works. You yeah. must improve and change to get what you want. Men have yeah. to accept this, but women, for, for some odd reason, think I deserve the best man without changing. And show it to the chat because they called it Frank Castle for her. Oh, no, chat, I oh, think, chat called it, yeah. yeah. I think everything it is also about respect. Because yeah. like I, I have been watching some of the podcasts and it completely changed my mentality too. Because before I was like, shoot, I was thinking because like I was following some girls on Instagram that says like, oh, you gotta act this way. And I was like, huh. But then after like listening to a man's perspective, it is like, oh my gosh, I don't like it, but it's true. So like I agree with a, a lot of things that you say, guys. I disagree with some of them, but then I take what I like, what it helps me, and also what is going to guide me to find like the guy that and I want. Listen also, to men. Do not listen to enough. female dating coaches uh, for women. It's garbage. Fair enough. Uh, yeah. uh, also, another thing is, uh, like you say, we know why we're here, right? We discuss and talk, you know? So take it personal. I'm, I'm going home later. I'm not going to think, oh, my God, these guys, I did. I'm, I'm going to ruin my night. You're not know? going to sleep. And you know what? Something teach me, like, for real on all this situation is... Don't take it personal. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You do things. Sure. If you do it to me, it's my perspective. So whatever also, you want. Um, all the girls' Instagrams are going to be down below. Oh, yeah. we, didn't get, we didn't put them up right now. So Oh, we, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't put them in yet. We're going to put them in. Yeah. Because uh, I know the dudes probably want to send dick pics. Uh, <laughs> and then did, you had something. Oh, someone I saw their hand. Oh, well, okay. I, I mean, after Engineer. all this conversation, I would like to know something like about the girls. Like, I would like to know if, like, after we feel that you're a really masculine guy, that you have a lot of like energy, if they would date you, like if you invite oh, them in a date. <laughs> I, I just want to know. Mad guys, I gotta make this about me, man. No, it, like if they, would I would just like yes or no. Like, would you date him? Oh, like no, if he no, asked you out? No, <laughs> just okay, like, yes you, like, you, you can say no. Like, trust me, it's not gonna hurt my feelings. It'll probably make my just, girl happy. Just or no, yeah. like it's just. So personal. Yeah, I don't. Right, let's go. No. Let's hear it. You don't like me is not something. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, he doesn't like me. Yeah. Next, yeah, it's okay. One. Yeah, I, I, I. Would you date him? That's one thing I. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Of course. Oh, <laughs> uh, but you're gonna have to compete now. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Would you date here, him? Pass the mic or. I think you are physically attractive, but I wouldn't. Okay, that's fine. I could, I, I could live with that. Yeah, you're physically attractive, but I don't know you. I'm an asshole. Okay. <laughs> She's like, I don't know you. You heard enough. She's like, oh, no, this guy's yeah, just yeah, a yeah. jerk. Spent three hours with him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Politically correct. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, can you pass her the, the thing? Ooh. I mean, I will date you, but I know, as I already, like, told you <laughs> that and I'm completely conscious that I'm not like a girl from material mm -hmm. and I have things to improve no. and I have to work oh, wow. myself <laughs> she's ready to compete before to be uh, able we got through yeah. we saved one maybe <laughs> I have to coach her we're doing God's work yeah <laughs> the door's been open at least <laughs> but yeah that's it that 
before being able to date a guy like you, well, I'm conscious that I have to work on myself yeah. and to be better on a lot of yeah. stuff. So that's it. Yeah, yeah not, not just for me. Like, here's the thing. I've, I've dated girls, right? And they, and they, it didn't work out, whatever. They go meet another guy and like, it works out. And I'm like, great. I made her better. So like the, the next guy that she goes with, Leftovers. she understands what, it, she understands like how to keep a guy around, you know what I mean? To a degree. Oh, shit. So, you know, it, it works out. So what about you? No. I will date your friend over there. Okay. <laughs> All right. Take him. Yo. Take him. Arthur. Yeah. The white guy. Listen. Damn, he's like, yeah. That's the big homie. <laughs> he's like, you're the fresh. Ah. You're the fresh. Ah. Yeah, okay. Like, are you cheating on your <laughs> Yeah, please, please, oh, please. Know who is, they know who he is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's hot. For you? Um, I wouldn't. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll pass this one. I'll pass this one. Would you? Would you? No, she wants Arthur. <laughs> I wouldn't either. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I find you attractive. Just, yeah. Asshole. Kind of. That's fine. That's cool. You know. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. He looks. I think. Yeah. No, don't try to you walk it back now. You look sweeter in the elevator. In this show. In the elevator, you yeah. look like like I really sweet. I listen another podcast, and you, yeah. yeah. The chat yeah. saying, "W yeah. Johnny sins." <laughs> That, that's true. Come on. You can look like right now this conversation can be tough, you know, like you say maybe but we're not everything. I think he's, he's yeah, kind. I, I think you're really kind of sweet, actually. You. Yeah, I think you have like, like, a, sweet. like a something. Yes, yes but yeah. you're, and you're loving too. I can tell. I, I just like to be, I, hey man, I'm just honest. A lot of girls Feels don't like, like it. You're forcing your ass. Yeah, I think you're that know? good guy just no. putting like something there, like a little, yeah, but. I mean, I tell my girl when she says dumb shit too. I'm like, that was dumb. So. Yeah. Nah, no, nah, no, nah, no, nah, because I, I talk shit to her all the time. But she's she's great, though. She's a good sport. She's a good sport. Uh, so, okay, that's Shane Day Como Yeah, she's a good sport. A lot. Okay, so, actually, I really like, I mean, like, you being an asshole. Like, okay. I mean, like, I like how you make me mad. So, yeah, I would date you. She needs a guy to put in her place. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, first of all, like, how long, like, how, um, how long have you been with your girl? Yeah. How long have you been together? Uh, Two months. Like, t total? <laughs> total time? Yeah. 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 What does that mean? Well, or you mean officially? Yeah, like officially. I I officially. I officially. Yeah, you know, we went through a little pro. You know, I do my like, my screening process, and everything. Stage. So officially. all total time. Oh, officially. Officially, yeah. Officially. Oh, officially. Oh, total both. time. Both. 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 I'll just say both. Total time about seven months, <coughs> but officially, officially, fairly, fairly recently. Really? Like that's it. Two months. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <I w> okay. <laughs> Well, I, I would say, you know. Before she, you come in Colombia. <laughs> well, here's the thing. I don't ask girls out. They have, they have to ask me out. Oh. Yeah. But. Yeah. The, the, the girl has to. Uh, the, I, I always tell, tell guys, never ask the girl to be your girlfriend. She has to be asked to be your boyfriend. Why? Oh. <laughs> or you, or you or sorry, you be her boyfriend. What? Why? Yeah. Because women behave better when they're the ones asking. <laughs> that's not true. What do you mean? That's, sorry. That's the way it is now. Let me hit better like you want to be my man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's fine. That's fine. But yeah, that's that's what it is. But no, she's great, man. So. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I would date you. I have a <laughs> final question. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, the words like, you're an asshole, but I would date you. <laughs> I don't think you're an asshole. I don't think I'm... Uh... I'm not black enough. No. Uh, she no went BBC? to Atlanta. <laughs> she was in Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> Fresh, this is you. No. <laughs> I'm a man of God, bro. <laughs> like you said, that we're not prepared to have a high value man. I don't think I'm prepared because that's fine. I feel like I still need to work. I, I don't know if I could handle a man cheating like that on me yet, or maybe. I have ever. a question. About and I think that's an important discussion women need to have with themselves. 